All right, so in my mission to sell my Dodge Ram van, I was having trouble with uh, getting it to start when it was in park. So uh, the first thing I did was replace the uh, neutral safety switch, which uh, to no avail, it didn't help. So you'll see there's like a molded uh, connector that goes onto the edge of the switch, but there's not much space. I think it was a, a one inch to uh, remove this uh, sensor but you can't really get a socket in there very easily because of a hard line. So what I did was I used two adjustable wrenches. So I put one adjustable wrench on the uh, switch like that. Hopefully you can see with the light, it's kind of shiny outside. And I uh, put another adjustable on the end of the wrench so I could grab the thing and twist it sideways. Reason being that I have most of my tools at a different location so I couldn't uh, do much better than that. You will lose some uh, fluid when you do this. I highly recommend you take a can of uh, degreaser and blast off everything that's in the area so that you can uh, switch it quickly. So I just did it while it was pouring out the fluid. And it comes uh, with a little seal. It's just a metal seal actually that goes on here. It'll be loose when you get it. I couldn't tell if there's a correct position for it. There's like two stages. There's an outer switch and an inner switch. But uh, anyway, it ended up working. So I don't know if you have to clock it a certain way or not. So uh, anyway, like I said, I replaced that. It didn't help anything. So next thing I did was I started to work on the shift linkage. So I just spin around here so you can see it. So basically, you've got I think a, a half inch bolt here it goes into this. It's not threaded here. It just what the bolt pushes down on this piece and pulls up on the uh, forks to uh, lock that thing into position. And I had to put a pair of vice grips on it. So it started off very tight and difficult to work with. So I put a, an adjustable on the square and grabbed onto it with that and wiggled it around enough and eventually it broke free. And I put some copper anti seize on it. So the uh, what I found was that to make this uh, start correctly, you take a uh, flip around again. This lever needs to be pushed all the way back. So you're pushing back on that. Then you're pulling up on this. And that'll get you a, a good position for the uh, switch to feel that you're in park. Obviously, you're going to have the vehicle on ramps when you're doing this. So you've got to block the wheels very well keep out of the way of the, uh, the front wheels or whatever so if this thing pops out of park it doesn't squash you so uh, that was it if you wanted to rebuild the linkage there's a couple different parts you would need there's a, uh, a rubber grommet here I think you need five or six of them they're all the same up through the steering linkage so they're pretty easy to get then there's another rubber grommet up here or plastic these are both plastic but these ones are pretty expensive they're like sixty dollars each if you get them from Chrysler but luckily they still make these things they've used them on cars for 50 years so uh, again there's another one up there so there's two of that style and then five or six of the other style if things are getting sloppy on you but luckily I was able just to force things the way they are without spending a whole lot of money and time on parts because rebuilding linkages is a bit of a frustrating affair. Very time consuming, whereas I was able to do this in about an hour. Just had to break this thing free. And once I could get that free, it's uh, not a big deal. There's also the kick down linkage, which is here. Some have a cable, some have a, a rod. That's something you, that I'm not going to do in this video. But uh, it's definitely worth someone doing a video on it because it's a bit tricky how to do that right. My dad's had a few different people set it for him over the past. I'm pretty happy with it now, so I'm just going to leave that alone. So anyway, thanks for watching.